So in this little video I'm going to demonstrate uh, the use of the guard terminal on the Sonal MIC30 to take away leakage from the winding simulator. Okay so what I'm going to do is demonstrate using the winding simulator how my dif two different test configurations when using the guard terminal on an insulation tester. So it is actually quite unusual for a thousand volt insulation tester to have a guard terminal and generally I guess you would use it with the shielded test lead connected into the guard to remove any leakage between leads but if you had uh, a more expensive motor and you wanted just a true reading from the phase under test to earth you could use the guard terminal to do that so this is my motor uh, simulator setup as you notice at this moment in time I've got no links across so I've got the ability to test each phase individually and when I would normally do that I would link the two untested phases uh, with another link and take them to earth so then any leakage from this phase to earth is measured plus the leakage from this phase into either of these two phases and then into earth and I get a total insulation resistance reading. To get a true value of this phase just to earth I can remove the link that takes them, the two untested phases to earth and I can instead click the guard terminal on there. Now any leakage from this phase into these two phases goes into the guard terminal and is subtracted from the insulation reading it's given. So that would be a higher reading of just the insulation resistance, the true value of this phase to earth. And I can obviously reverse that and if I wanted to get a leakage reading of this phase into the other two phases I can do the insulation test off of there and clip the guard terminal onto the chassis earth and then any reading from this phase that goes down to the chassis is taken from the result and I just get the reading of this phase into either of these two phases. Again I could have the option if I really wanted to testing just the leakage from U into W I could take the V winding and then clip that onto earth and then the leakage is subtracted from here into here or here into here goes into the guard terminal and again is subtracted from the result. So that's just another way of using a guard terminal on an insulation tester to get specific readings just for insulation values for a specific winding to winding insulation or winding to earth. It's probably something you would ever do on a, a very large motor that's got a lot of value to it to find out specifically what is wrong with it when you've just got the, the smaller motors cost you that much to rewind them anyway you might as well just sling them in the bin and, and put a new motor in its place. I'm going to set this up I only want to do this as one minute tests so to set the meter up automatically to stop I need to change the time stamps that it has if I go to the set so I'm going to turn this one down to 15 seconds uh, this one I will turn down to 30 seconds And then the final one, which is the one that the meter stops it on, I will turn to the 60 uh, to cheat a little bit instead of winding that all the way down. Go to blank and then goes to 31, which was the next one up from the T2. And then I can just go up to the 60 seconds. That's those set. Hit the enter button. So I take the earth off. Yeah, so we're down below now. Okay, so we're set up to do one minute test just using a standard insulation test, but with three, three, the three phases are split, but the two untested phases have been strapped down to earth, which would be the standard way I would test a three phase device. And that's not wired in star or delta. So we'll start that test, lock it on, and we'll leave that to run for the one minute. Okay, I'm gonna 
attempt to discharge or convince it otherwise. Otherwise it would have gone into uh, voltage detection again. If I want to save that reading, just hit the enter button. Automatically goes up to cell two, save it there. And I can go through these. So the end result at one minute was 11 mega ohms, 15 nanofarads. Um, 5.4 at 15 seconds, 7.3 at 30, and then there's the, that would be the 15 to 30 second ratio, and then this one is the 30 second to 1 minute ratio. Okay, so, earth winding out again, so I'll take you back up to there, and you can hopefully see the shielded test lead I've got here with the guard terminal into it that was the previous test I'm going to take out that guard terminal and we put in the guard lead into there we can push him back to there so you can see and we refocus okay so this test setup now is using the guard terminal onto the two untested phases and just testing the U phase out and we'll do this for another one minute test again and hopefully you'll be able to see the difference in the results. So start him, lock him on and we wait for another minute. Okay, so test is complete. We will save that. Go to cell 03, cell that, and you can see that's now at 19.15. So if I go back to the readings, back around to memory, cell 01, go to cell 03, that's the test I've just done, which is 19.15 mega ohms at the one minute. If I go back to cell 2, it was 11.84 mega ohms. The absorption ratio was 1.6 on the original test and then on this test was just over two. So that's the test completed using the guard terminal instead of shield, taking it to the shield of the one of the leads. I've used the guard terminal to take the leakage away from the windings.